The planets in our solar system have formed from the same spinning disk of dust called the solar nebula that formed our sun. It was composed mostly of hydrogen and helium and some other elements. Attracted by gravity, particles in this spinning disk of gas began to collide. Over a few million years of merging and growing, these larger objects became the planets we see today. This process of accumulation is called accretion. But why are the inner planets rocky and the outer planets gas giants? The composition of planets is affected by the availability of elements around them and the temperature. The hotter it is, the more elements melt and the faster gas molecules move. Near the proto-sun, temperatures were as high as 2000 Kelvin, while farther out it was as cool as 50 Kelvin. That means that closer to the sun, only substances with very high melting points would have remained solid. All the rest would have vaporized. So that explains why the inner planets are rocky. While the gravity of the sun pulled the denser components like rock inwards, its heat caused the lighter gases to escape from the inner solar system to the outer parts. Farther out, at the distance of Jupiter's orbit and beyond, planetesimals with a different composition formed at temperatures where water and other volatiles could freeze. Rich in the abundant ices, these bodies coalesced into large protoplanetary cores whose gravity was strong enough to attract the lightest elements, hydrogen and helium, and form very massive objects, the gaseous outer giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. 